It was a cold November morning when Mac Byram ventured out in search of a monster catfish on Lake Norman in North Carolina. Little did he know that on that fateful morning, not only would he come face to face with the largest catfish that he's ever caught in that lake, but a catfish that could have literally killed him. My fish was caught in November of 2012, 30 some degrees outside. I leave the house about quarter 10. I'm set up fishing by a little after 10. I had hooked some big fish in this area, never got them in for one reason or another. And I was at the end of the creek and it makes a dog leg right. There was a point that came out and that was where you would normally catch them. Well, I got a pole bender on the short side planer board and it came off. And I'm bringing it in when the other rod lays down that with, the, with the planer board right behind the one he just hit, and it was a solid connection. It, I get him to the boat, and it takes off and runs on me again. And it was a buoy out there, no weight buoy. And I knew I couldn't let him get around it. And I kept tight my drag up. Well, the third run, I get him up to the boat, get him in the net, and I can't breathe. My chest was just as tight as it could be. I'm thinking the cold air, the excitement, you know. So I get him in the boat, and I have that tightness again. So I sit down with it in the net in the boat, take everything in, call my buddy Claire, want to know if he was home. He said, yeah. I says, I got to bring a big fish over there and let you weigh it and uh, measure it. Take some photographs. No sooner I pull up to his dock, I can't breathe. And I said, Cliff, you're gonna have to get this fish out of the boat for me. He says, you don't look good. I says, I can't breathe. And then I could breathe. He helps me out of the boat, puts the fish in my arms, and then his wife comes down with a video camera. He takes the fish, I lean down at the dock, he hands me the fish, and I move it around till it's lively and it jerks away from me. I stand up not feeling real good at all. And uh, he says, you need to go to the ER. And I says, I think it's just a cold air cliff. I said, I'll be okay. Well, like many people, Mac dismissed the signs. He headed home and instead of seeking medical attention, he went outside to take care of some yard work. I go out and blow leaves for 45 minutes. Now we, we're up to uh, one o'clock blowing the leaves. I got tired, so I came in, and, and then I felt like I had uh, reflux or heartburn. Well, this time his heart sent him a stronger message, and Mac heard it loud and clear. And all of a sudden, I'm on the floor rolling, and can hardly get my breath. Well, luckily, Mac's wife was home. She recognized the signs, and she called paramedics. But in typical Mac fashion, he had other concerns. She calls 911. They come like five minutes and start cutting my jeans and my land in underwear, you know, long johns off. And I'm raising hell. The long johns cost $39 at land's in, you know. And they cut my belt off. A good belt. I said, you ain't got to do this. I can take it off. And the young lady says, you're in critical condition. You just lay there and shut up. In the end, it was a good thing Mac went to the doctor because as it turns out, based on what the doctors found out, it could have ended much worse. I had a blockage. They put a stent in, uh, no heart damage. And he said, based on the time that all this transpired, that I was one lucky thing. Well, Mac's story ended on a good note, but he reminds everybody to seek medical attention as soon as you see the first signs of a possible heart attack. The quicker you get help, the better off that you will be. Now as for that crazy fish story that he told the doctors in the emergency room, well, they wanted to see some proof. And he wanted to see a photograph of the, the fish, which turned out to be 49.4 pounds or 49.6 pounds. You know. And the doctor commented that, you know, uh, 
I was more interested in the catfish than I was in my own symptoms of health. Well, folks, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing, and here are a couple of more videos that I think you're going to like.